Well, in front of you is a three days postpartum uterus. Uh, she has been referred for constant pain, not subsiding by anything, vagina delivery. This is the vagina, this is the cervix, and uh, this is the anterior myometrium, this is the fundal region, and this is the posterior segment of the uh, uterus. This is the endometrial canal in the center, this white line that you are seeing. Now, the what you have to notice is that within the box, you do see some uh, blood vessels giving uh, flowing towards the away from the transducer. However, there is, a cyst, this, there is an area that contains tiny cystic, these cystic areas within it, it measures a localized area, measuring approximately uh, this area. Now, I had an impression that there is blood in it, and you can see the difference between the anterior myometry This is the anterior myometrium where I am moving the uh, cursor. We don't see, you will not see. See the difference in this region and in this region. Why is this difference in this region? Why do we see uh, the blood flow in this particular region? see the flow and uh, if I magnify this box you will see that now see it now just below the uh, endometrial canal there is an localized area giving internal having internal cystic areas within it and uh, this is consistent with placenta uh, placental part and placenta in creta <coughs> that has been missed <coughs> while uh, her initial uh, scanning was performed. Though postpartum uterus is supposed to show mm, uh, blood vessels, but this area in particular, now I'm going to give you the particular area, see, it gives you a different sort of uh, uh, blood flow. This is our area of interest, particularly this one. 
and see the degree of uh, vascular infiltration in this region, which is consistent with the placental part. Thank you very much. This is the transfer section of the same patient, and uh, what we are seeing is that uh, there is again this area, echogenic area with multiple scattered internal tiny cystic areas. One, two, these are all tiny cystic areas scattered throughout the myometry, and these are also vessels. And we saw in the Doppler study that these are all vessels in fact, and this is part of the placenta, keeping in view uh, the findings in the Doppler. This is the uterus in transfer section. <coughs> and this is the placenta excreta. And, uh, and this is uh, invading the myometrium. These are all vessels as we saw in Doppler study and it's invading deep into the myometrium and uh, it's focal uh, measuring approximately 15 to 38 ml. Now apart from that what we see is that there is, this is the endometrial canal of the same patient with internal, uh, you see there are internal ecogenic areas and uh, this is the endometrial canal in transfer section that you are seeing within it, it's uh, measuring 19 mm in uh, dilated up to 19 mm with dense coarse ecogenic areas with no shadowing. This is the urinary bladder, this is the myometrium, and uh, this is consistent with the uh, RPOCs as well, or, uh, because she is in pain, more of severe pain, which is persisting for the last three days post-vaginal delivery, and uh, with that, she is passing clots even now. So this is sorry. This is the transfer section. And this is the urinary bladder. Here, this is the urinary bladder. So we do see RPOCs as well, along with placenta cruta, invading the whole length of a segment of the posterior myometrium as a cause of uh, all the complaints of this uh, uh, young lady post vaginal delivery. This is the area, this is the present trackway time, in fact. This area, if you uh, concentrate on this region, measuring approximately uh, 11.1 centimeter by 3 point or 4 centimeter you see that uh, these are all vessels and they are invading deep into the myometrium this is the endometrial lining in fact this is the anterior myometrium uh, which is normal and the thickness of this uh, posterior myometrium is not equal to that of the anterior myometrium rather it is raised up to 4 uh, centimeters and that of the anterior myometing uh, is 1.4 which is okay postpartum three days now these cystic areas within this 11 into 4 centimeter uh, equigenic area uh, these scattered multiple uh, uncountable cystic areas as we saw in our Doppler study are all vessels the suggestive with and these, it's in, these are all vessels. These are also vessels and part of this uh, uh, retained uh, placenta or placenta accreta as we will name. And it, it invades all of the uh, posterior myometrium and uh, you know uh, that's why it's appearing thick and ecogenic, more ecogenic as compared to the anterior myometrium. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's conclude the findings that we have seen so far. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus of uh, uh, this patient under study. This is the transfer section. And in transfer section, we are seeing 
multiple uh, one, two, three, four, five, six tiny equogenic particles, few giving posterior shadow, and uh, they are within the endometrial canal, and they are suggestive of clot or clot POCs on the left side of the image. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah. What we see is that this is the anterior myometrium of this postpartum uh, uterus, and uh, the, we don't see any myometrium uh, with the, uh, in this region, that is the posterior region, posterior wall of the uh, uh, endometrial canal. This is the endometrial lining, this, this is endometrial lining, this is the anterior myometrium. Now you see that this thick equigenic area measuring 11 into 4 centimeters with numerous cystic areas within as uh, that we saw were Doppler, on Doppler that are vessels, all vessels and intensive blood flow within it is uh, uh, in fact uh, suggestive of uh, placental uh, intrusion between the uh, uh, from the endometrial lining up to the uterine serosa. So this goes more in favor of uh, placenta percreta rather than accreta. It does not end up in the anywhere because the myometrium is not seen anywhere uh, in this region, and uh, the thickness of four centimeters with intensive uh, vessels within it. These are all suggestive of uh, placenta in creta. So this is uh, the final conclusion, placenta in creta, retained placenta, uh, that was in creta, in, and uh, sorry, that was per creta, per creta, including all, involving all of the, uh, all of the uh, posterior myometrium, uh, and there are uh, ecogenic areas in the endometrial canal that are suggestive of uh, either clots or RPOCs in this patient. Thank you very much.